Hey guys, me Procast here today doing a reaction to another YouTuber's uh, content. It it is uh, Sunny V 2s the stupidest criminals ever. I decided I've actually been a fa uh, fan of Sunny V 2 stuff for a little while, and so I've been watching. Actually, been watching a lot of stuff. Uh, most of, uh, I watched a few of his things. I don't think I've seen all of them, but I think I've seen most. I think I don't know. Yeah, I saw this one. It came out literally a day ago and it reminded me of back when I was young uh, used to watch when I actually used to watch TV I'd actually watch like uh, sometimes uh, True TV's top uh, I think it was, um, it, was like, true, it was True TV's Smoking Gun I think uh, Smoking Gun uh, yes but it's True TV True TV's Smoking Gun uh, World's Dumbest Series yeah, that, yeah. True TV, True TV presents World's Dumbest. I remember used to watching that back when I was when I was like really young and stuff. And like, I, I my favorites were always the uh, crip, what's what did they which ones did they do? I don't do the criminals, which was my favorite. I don't remember the other ones they did. Criminals, criminals, criminals. They had dumb drivers. I remember that too. Daredevils. I don't. I, don't remember, I never actually watched okay, about the partiers. Did anyone ever watch that? That was like such a long time ago. When was, when was, uh, first, first thing was 2008. Wait, is this still going? Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, it is 2014. Anyway, yeah, I used to watch that back long, long time ago. Most, like I said, mostly for the, uh, dumbest, uh, criminals, which I always love. I always watch, love watching dumb criminals. Just kind of satisfying just see how dumb or stupid someone could be with trying to do a crime something like they don't put in the effort to think about think through what they should do or just you know just have a lapse in judgment about something it's always fun just uh just makes me feel better like if i'm having a bad day like i feel like just then i just don't i think i just think sometimes think about those and like just like hey at least i'm not at least i'm not them at least i'm not as dumb as they are i would have got maybe at least two steps ahead maybe but yeah, that was a long time ago. I don't really, I don't even know if anybody, if anybody remembers that show, please tell me down below. Uh, but yeah, th I definitely remember that from, like I said, apparently 2000, uh, probably watching more in the 2010s, I think is when I watched it. Because back when I had, funny enough, I actually never watched it on the actual station. Like, I, back when we had Comcast, I used to like go on demand to watch it there. I, I think. Yeah, yeah, I used to I used to watch it on demand a lot more than uh, the TV stuff most times. Yeah, that, that was that was that was fun times. I don't really remember any of the ones that much. I just go through and watch uh, other dumb criminal stuff. Maybe we'll see one I've actually I actually remember something. Maybe we'll see a new one. I don't know. But how how do we determine how dumb they are? I don't know if you go through there are a bunch of there are a bunch of crimes throughout Human kind. I don't. I don't. Human. Human kind. Hum, humans time on the planet. I feel like we don't know every single crime that is the dumbest, if you will. But I could be wrong. I hope to be wrong. I hope that there's just somewhere just one one crime that's just super super dumb. But eh, until, until that happens, I guess we just do with this one being the uh, not very definitive, but close enough to a, a list of the the dumbest criminals. So, eh, why don't we just see what's going on? So, uh, three, two, one. In 2009, Matthew McNally and Joey Miller robbed a home in mm -hmm. Iowa using masks drawn onto their faces with permanent black why? marker. Whilst on the run, that, the two discovered that. that permanent black marker doesn't rub off easily, uh -huh. leading to their simple arrest and embarrassingly stupid mug shots. However, these two still look like geniuses. Okay, what the hell was their idea behind that? Were... Okay, how, how much is a guy? Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Let me see. How much is a goddamn uh, ski mask? Okay. Per permanent. Permanent. Marker. Marker. Permanent marker from Sharpie. I can get one for. Don't know. You get a bunch of uh, them for eight bucks. How much should I get? How much is a ski mask on Amazon? 
ski mask for men. They look, they look like men. Seven bucks. And so I'm not uh, fully aware of like what all stuff I need to do to fully guide you. Like, like uh, they have some ski masks that will hide their face and stuff. Now getting up to where you get, like just have like the this part you kind of like the Sonic type look. You just have like the where your eyes are is visible. I guess some of them are like just where you only see like the eyes, like a little and map. I want you the mouth. Yeah, like the you can get one. Oh, it's, on, it's on sale. Uh, you want some some for about eight bucks or so. Yeah, and you get one. This one that's uh, seven nine. Oh, what are you saying? Ah, uh, this on sale. Never mind. Uh, so that was nine nine nine. So it's relatively cheaper to get a sharpie than a than a mask. Who knew? I mean, that should come as no surprise, but still, like I would think, you know, Matt, if you're gonna do a crime, do use a mask or make sure, sir, you're just they can't see you. Wear a mask and gloves. They can't see you. Can't track your fingerprints. Maybe they'll catch your if they're bringing forward. Maybe they'll get your voice and stuff. Maybe I don't. I don't really know, but yeah, not Sharpie, especially not if you're. Let's say you're desperate. I, I guess. You know, I was gonna say maybe yeah, like don't use like a permanent mark. Maybe it's like normal number one. But I was like, no, because if they get it sweating during it, it might come off. And <laughs> my brother was like, yeah, if it comes off, then they'll know who you are. But I was like, yeah, no, they're gonna know who you are no matter what, because you're. Uh, you kind of just got Sharpie on your face, so. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, never mind. I I regret everything I was saying. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next person I've raised. In comparison to some of the other idiots we'll be talking about, as we discussed, the more stupidest that. criminals of all time. Okay. Take for example MacArthur Wheeler, who robbed mm -hmm. two banks in broad daylight as he thought that pouring lemon juice on his face would make him invisible to cameras. Who when shown the bank surveillance footage, Wheeler refused to believe that he was visible, stating to officers, "But I wore the juice," believing that as long as he didn't come near a heat source, he should have been completely invisible. Okay. Police concluded the Wheeler was not crazy or on drugs, just in incredibly mistaken um no all right i have to look this up real fast and lemon juice they say lemon uh lemon, lemon juice can potentially remo remove uh permanent marker so uh he could have helped the previous ones <laughs> but uh why am i even getting a start no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not gonna give it a serious thought. No, uh, he might not be on drugs, but he was de not on drugs. He's definitely, definitely a little dumb. Cause, um, yeah, maybe if it was, if it was like, um, lime juice, it might have worked. But lemon juice, not, not that good enough. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's just dumb on his part. I feel like. To like just think like oh yes this, this lemon juice will uh put, well where did he get the information for that from I I don't even want to look it up because I don't want to have that saved anywhere on my on my stuff but yeah that <laughs> okay anyway let's go with the lemon juice mistake eventually costing Wheeler a 24.5 year prison sentence. Yeah, However, if we're on the topic of terrible disguises, uh -huh. then we can't go past Dennis Hawkins, whose disguise as an old lady wasn't much better. His sweater okay. accompanied fake boobs, a full beard, and fittingly clown pants with this insanely recognizable outfit, helping police to catch Hawkins only an hour after the robbery. The police Man, chief of the area stated he would get my nomination for dumbest criminal, I mm -hmm. think. You still have his black facial hair with a blondish wig. Definitely different. Different is also a good way to describe Patrick McGuire's disguise. Uh, uh, I don't want to keep breaking up everybody, but yeah, if he, if he shaved the beard, maybe, maybe he could have got away with it, but no. Robbed an Illinois convenience store while covering his face with a clear plastic bag. I think I heard about that one time. $60 from the robbery. However, due to his extensive M maybe, it might history, have been on, uh, he was sentenced this? to 15 years in prison for the stunt, meaning that he had to spend one year in prison for every $4 stolen from the store. <laughs> Talk about cool. a bad return. That's Equally bad good. was Paul Sinclair's, who attempted Sinclair. to rob a bank in Florida by using mm -hmm. his fingers curled up into a gun shape. 
rape. The quote-unquote weapon was okay. so non-threatening that the bank teller gave him only $120, after mm -hmm. which he'd flee on foot before he, being he caught by police that? only 10 minutes later. Then there Damn, was James right. Blankenship, who thought that robbery was I legal as okay. long as you did it at a certain time of day. Back in 2013, Blankenship no. broke into his own mother's home, after yeah, which the police were called, who would take to... Don't bring it to your mother's home, okay? That's not a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, that's not cool at all, man. But yeah, you... Uh, break, robbery is illegal at any point, unless it's purge time. Then it's legal. Cause, yeah, I still don't... That's why I still think that purge, purge is a dumb movie. Like, I, yeah, some people probably have a murder bon boner for somebody. Somebody out there just wants to really kill somebody. Like, uh, they're I mentally well, they just really want to hurt somebody, and they know they don't want to get away with it. Yeah, that, that probably will happen. You probably need to make it so, like, if purge does happen, that... That the murder part of that is the only part that's le illegal everything else is perfectly fine so like we can go we can go steal some stuff we can go uh do some, sell some drugs i guess i don't, I don't really know what i don't keep what would I, I don't really know me crimes to be honest uh most my big thing is uh stealing because if, if steal if not stealing is murder and but i i don't really know much many laws because laws kind of change based on something legal legal here could be illegal somewhere else and vice versa, you know? So, yeah, it kind of depends. But yeah, it's, it's illegal anytime. Stealing is illegal, no matter what. Unless, unless you steal for a long, uh, good cause. It's illegal, but for a good reason, you know? One of those types of scenarios. The morally gray area, you know? to their Facebook page later that day to explain what had happened. Mm -hmm. He fled the scene upon seeing his mother. The male was located under the house I wonder why. Hall space. When advised of his charges, he made the statement, I thought you could only be charged with burglary if you break in during the night time. Uh -huh. Blankenship was given 180 days in jail yeah, and ordered to pay a $100 fine. Yet Definitely this bad. wasn't the only time when a person was dumb enough to think that a law didn't apply to them. Because why? when Ruben Pavin was caught stealing from a charity thrift shop in New Hampshire, ah, it stated that he thought thought everything was free because of the name of the business, Finders no. Keepers. The sign did say Finders Keepers, so okay. I took that DVD player, took it home, Pavin told the local TV station. A couple okay. of weeks later, the stuff is still there on the porch, so I'm thinking to myself, Finders Keepers, they probably just put stuff out there for people to take. The business responded via Facebook stating, this man who was caught on video is saying it is all a misunderstanding. He thought everything at our store was free. Is that really the best defense he could come up with? Yes? It is not the best defense, but I I don't say it's right, but I would kind of let him have that. Because, yeah. I mean, no matter where you've gone to, I mean, like, take the Dollar Tree, for example. You go there, you want to pay, paying it more than a dollar for anything you buy. Sometimes. Maybe some, maybe you got like a piece of gum or something like that. So, I should pay, pay for like no matter no matter what you buy, uh, no matter what one item you buy, it's always one dollar. But you just buy like a bunch of like really, you have that'd be so bad. Like you buy like a normal piece. How much is how much is gum? How much is gum? I don't know because I don't really eat it. Let's find out how much a uh, gu uh, gum in candy is at Walmart. Uh oh, okay, never mind. I was thinking like you just get like a single piece of gum. Yeah, no. uh He's all above the uh, one dollar. Yeah, no, never mind. That's 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 fine. Yeah, like you don't you you spend more, way more than a dollar in a Dollar Tree, so the name does not mean what they have to do. Like I have gone to Dicks so many times looking for for what they what they advertise. Always oh, disappointed. Technically, the, I technically I, if I don't find it, that means I'm they are they they themselves are the Dicks for advertising what they don't sell. So in a sense, they are being truthful by not selling what they advertise, which makes them dicks, which then makes them truthful while still not selling what they were advertising. Well played, dicks. Well played. Well played. Uh, uh, I'll give that to them, okay? If I was keepers, nah, that, that, it's iffy, but nah. 
them. After which Pavan reportedly turned in the stolen goods to police, holding mm -hmm. that he's not a bad person or a bad dad, and is rather just unbelievably stupid. But Jay? was he as dumb as Derek Mosley, who in 2013 oh. attempted to rob a store named Discount Gun Sales by mm -hmm. using a baseball bat. When Mosley allegedly barged into Discount Gun Sales and smashed a display counter with his baseball bat, the store manager simply pulled out his own personal firearm and pointed it straight at the would-be robber, holding Mosley in the store until he was arrested and charged with I can't say anything that he, he A similar story then came out of text. Do the Healy pro uh the pen is my try to do the pen is my in the gun type of thing. It, it is not so unless you are in the anime and the main character and the main character a story that doesn't kill off main characters, th then you're fine. But <clears throat> any other time, yeah, 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 no, no, you, no, 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 you, you will not, you will not survive. I'm sorry, my friend. Bad. Same to this dude. Damn. Texas in July 2022, Damn, Texas, when man. a gun store was robbed at knife point, although this tale was like last year, what the hell? Bag, as the robber was fatally shot by the store owner uh -huh. as he tried to exit with his loot. But what happens uh -huh. when you accidentally uh -huh. call 911 whilst committing a crime? Pocket dialing the police is probably a fairly common occurrence. However, for Carson Reinhardt and Nathan Teclamerium, it happened at the most unfortunate moment, specifically while they were breaking into a car. Uh, the alert dispatcher uh, soon I've realized never that the call was an accident. One. And moreover, that the guys on the other end might be up to no good. For the next 35 minutes, the dispatcher stayed on the line, listening and gathering information, as Teclamerium and Reinhardt did the following. Discovered a car that they mm -hmm. thought they could burglarize, discussed how to break into the car, allegedly broke into the car, exclaimed in delight over finding narcotics in the car, became confused as to how or why a police car was following them, and reacted in disbelief when the arresting officer revealed that they'd been on the line to 911 the entire time. Be a Scott great call their life. In a similar that, situation, that operator has what had to be holding in. They probably put themselves in mute so they couldn't be heard and everything. And they have to be holding in a laugh if something like that happened. I, I would not be able to believe if some. I've actually never butt. What? I've not butt dialed in for a long, long time. Mostly because there's no buttons anymore. But have you guys ever butt butt dialed anyone? I've actually sent sent text to the wrong person before. That's some. Uh, that's not very bad. But, from my, my funny conversation between me and my grandma one time, but uh, it's just a picture of a game, so it don't really matter, but still, <laughs> yeah, I've never had butt dialed anyone. So how the hell? It must have like a. I don't know why, I just can't. Like, it felt like this. I cannot imagine butt dialing someone. Who the fuck? Don't tell me what to do, calendar, even though I told you what to tell me to do. Anyway, yeah, I don't really see it happen. I, I just can't fathom like butt dialing with a screen phone. I feel it could be harder. Probably it's impossible if you don't have, you have to like, your butt has to unlock it, then call the number and everything. Well, that's probably emergency mode. Yeah, yeah, ne never mind. I take think back, emergency mode could probably call, call, call and everything. Makes sense. Yeah, still, uh, that, that's more just, I mean, stupid do trying to steal a car. But if you think about it, in actuality, if they hadn't made the call, they actually probably would have gotten away with it. Because, uh, the call is the only thing that gave them away, so... Yeah. Also, what did it do? Although under much more severe circumstances. Mm. Whilst on trial for murder in 2015, oh. Scott was successfully sentenced to life in prison, as two years prior he'd pocket dialed the police while admitting to a friend that he was the one who committed the crime. Ah. He had no idea he called 911, a sheriff's office spokeswoman told the Miami Herald. He basically told on himself, as did Albert Bailey. I want to believe so much that they... Ah, uh, God, I I wish that was, uh, I could have been directing how that was going. I, like you, you, like they say, like I say, call, called him, back in it, and told, told on himself about what he did, but I wanted to be to where he, he just like, uh, like in trial and everything, he, he has like one of the best lawyers and everything, and they are just like, so they make it seem like, uh, like, uh, he is actually innocent and everything. Like, he's gonna get away scot free. Like, nothing's wrong. Do you find the actual murder, murderer and everything? And then, and then, like, uh, the, the, he's defendant, the prosecutor, uh, but it just, all, all the meanwhile, was just sitting there with a little smirk, still trying to put, put up a good play and everything, put, put, put a good act. And then they, there's like, uh, like a few, 
like a few minutes before they probably have the file verdict and everything or something some new piece of evidence coming in like say ha i had this in my pocket the entire time i, I don't think they can because i don't think the law, law law works like that they get to show all the evidence they have so they would know that they would have that thing in, this, in there so yeah but yeah that'd be that's be just so funny just, just wait just waiting and smart just, like sitting back with a little smart say <laughs> he's gonna get he don't know how how bad he's trying to play the answer how much how much cover is gonna be in once i reveal what i ha have uh, in my pocket pulls out phone just plays the recording yeah yeah that's what you thought yeah that, that sounds just like you in it that's so weird same voice and everything man well that's something trying to pull some uh, uh some type of scream stuff where they have some voice uh cloning thing voice uh, manipulation whatever thing uh yeah you, you might be going to jail buddy but it was it was a good job you tried your best you tried your beer here how about a fair handshake no psych 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 no 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 get away from you filthy murderer anyway yeah. although in a much stupider way oh. Bailey had planned on robbing a bank in Fairfield Connecticut Day. although rather than exercising the element of surprise he'd call the bank prior to the robbery stating I want hundred thousand dollars in large bills and no die packs I'll be sending someone into the bank to get the money don't call the police we are monitoring the police scanner prior mm -hmm. to making this phone call Bailey had already served seven years in prison for a previous bank robbery however this new plan was equally ineffective as after arriving at the bank to collect his cash Bailey was locked in inside arrested and sentenced to another nine years in prison although if he wanted to avoid this yeah, that, time behind bars he could have had a chat with that tito one. and amanda watts tito, did you go from in florida for selling tickets to enter heaven at a price of a hundred dollars okay. tito watts said in his police statement i don't care what the police say the tickets are solid gold and it was jesus who gave them to me behind the kfc and said to sell them so i could get me some money to go to outer space i uh, should arrest jesus because he's the one who gave me the golden tickets and said to sell them i'm willing to wear a wire and set Jesus up. The couple had apparently earned over $10,000 from the stunt, meaning that they were able to find people even dumber than them, one of which might have been- Please, please let him wear a wire. I want to find out who this Jesus is. Oh God, I, I, want, I, want, I want to know. I want, I want to know. I want to know so bad. Why did, Je why did Jesus give, give him stuff? What? I don't even know what to say to that. That's just so stupid. Just like, yeah, Jesus, yeah, man, Jesus just, just showed up out of nowhere. Out, back, out, out in the back of this KFC. Don't ask what I was doing there. Ask what he was doing there. Yeah, what's what's the big J man doing, doing in the back of the KFC? That's not, that's not where he should belong. He should be out, out there uh, doing Jesus stuff. Like, uh, walking on water. Do, uh, turning water into... Uh, more water. I don't know. I, I can't, can't, can't really think of a joke for Jesus right now. But anyway, like, yeah, yeah. Ooh, boy. They, thank God the people are dumb. Anyway, let's see what this guy does. Been Ruben Zarate. Ruben. While attempting to rob a muffler shop in 2008, Zarate mm -hmm. was told that the shop couldn't access the money safe without their manager, who didn't begin his shift until later that afternoon. Oh, Instead of bailing okay. on the robbery, Zarate instead gave them his phone number, asking them to give him a ring the next time the manager was in. Yeah, sure. He did we'll, so we'll do later that. that afternoon. Although after returning to the store, Zarate received no money and was instead met by police and charged with aggravated robbery. I bet then you there was, was the so man surprised. who gave the people he was robbing robbing something even stupider. Like the unnamed what? robber walked into a London bank carrying a gun and a bag, which mm -hmm. he tanked to the front desk before demanding 700,000 pounds of cash the gun at the from bag. the bank worker. But after making his demands, the crook handed over his gun to the cashier <laughs> instead of the bag. <laughs> Investigating- <laughs> I didn't actually read that when I said that. <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't done reading when he said that. I was like, uh, maybe, I think I was like around, when he said uh, he gave him something else or whatever, I was like, yeah, he probably gave him a gun. I didn't, I didn't, I was barely at the thief raided the bank and everything. Wait, when he actually read it was, I'm a slow reader. <laughs> how do you, how do you mistake a gun for, I mean, it's like a bag for gun. Is that? 
It said it said he was wearing shades and a flag cap. What's a flag cap? Probably like one of a flag cap, probably. Duh. But yeah, I unless he has bad feeling in his hands or whatever, like this this printed lightsaber. I don't ha I don't have a bag. I'll try to find something of equal size to even have the attempt of it. I guess it depends on how he's holding it. Yeah, this phone and this lightsaber feel totally different. I'm holding to totally different ways. And I'm assuming a bag you would hold down here by his, by his handles and everything, so... Yeah? The maybe he was just copping a moment and just got really, really mixed up. If that, that's the case, I, yeah, I, accept, I accept his mistake. I mean, he's still wrong in place and getting arrested, but... Yeah? Yeah. He stole a bank worker's bike and he pedaled off into the distance. Never be heard from again. After making his demands, the crook handed over his gun to the cashier uh -huh. instead of the bag. Investigating authority stated, The guess is that he is very inexperienced mm -hmm. and panicked when he approached the cashier, handing over his gun instead of a bag by mistake. That's my hope. But it was Trevor Jones them. who left an even more damning piece of evidence at his crime scene. Fingerprints. He After left breaking name and address. into a house in Atlanta, Jones took a moment to check his Facebook on the owner's computer before leaving without logging out. Less than three years later, a similar story entered news headlines, reading, a 26-year-old Minnesota man has been tracked down by police after leaving his Facebook profile logged in at a house he allegedly robbed, although this story has a much funnier ending. The Dummy. homeowner decided to message the robber via his Facebook, stating oh, he left a few things at my house last night, how can I get them back to you, which was followed by the robber agreeing to come back to the home so he could collect the stuff he forgot. However, the robber didn't get any any of his items back and was instead arrested while still wearing a watch that he'd stolen from the night before. Well, what the fuck? I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming their Facebook group was been really, really popping back in the day or something like uh, how to get away with robbery, I guess, is the group or something. I don't, I don't, who, I don't want to go on Facebook. Who goes on Facebook any day? Uh, uh, I use it sometimes, but not that often. But anyway, yeah, who's just like so, like you're so desperate to like get on Facebook? You're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I'll just log on to their, their computer. You can stole on the computer. Anyway, you just log into their computer like this and everything. It's like, oh yeah, okay, that's interesting. Interesting. All right, back back to stuff. No, I'm not gonna log out. I'll get back to that later. And he just never gets back to it. It's just one of those things like you say, I'll get back to it later. But then you just kind of forget about because that other pressure matters, like robbing the place that you came came to. And then you just forget about it. And, uh... Yeah, um... The, I, I would... The also the most part is the moment you see the, uh... Get a message saying you left some stuff, stuff at, the, at the house. Um... Yeah, they're not that nice. They're, that That's awfully a trick. Why would you believe it? Why would there be no red flags? You, uh, you kind of got away. They would. Pro they could probably contact. You left it logged in. That they wrote that. Wrote that. Imagine if they changed the password on for them. <laughs> just changed the password for the Facebook and everything. But yeah, they just like write down the friends, get the friend's name and everything, talk to them and everything. So, uh, try to get contact. Contact their mother, or father, or some or something like that, and just ask where the hell they are. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, boy, it's like it's like a nine-minute video. What the hell? Both of these idiots used social media poorly. At mm -hmm. least they didn't brag about the robbery in a YouTube video, as is what happened in the bizarre case of Hannah Sabata. In 2012, oh, it, at the age of 19, Sabata stole $6,000 from a bank in Nebraska, Damn. and while almost anybody else would have simply kept quiet, yeah, and instead took Jesus. to her YouTube channel Jelly Beanie to upload a video titled Chick Bank Robber, in which she'd straight up admit to having just committed a robbery. She'd then discuss her entire methodology for the crime while showing the money and the amount that had been stolen before uh -huh. concluding the video by describing the vehicle she had used and that it had its license plates removed. This Good information job. eventually resulted in Hannah's arrest and sentencing of 10 to 20 years prison, done so in a public courtroom filled to maximum capacity with people who had seen the video. Just two uh -huh. years prior to this, 21-year-old Frank Singleton was being released from Palm Beach County Jail, having uh -huh. just served time for a trespassing charge. The only oh. issue was he didn't have a car to leave the jail, so he decided to steal one from 
the visitor's parking lot, yet the car he decided to steal was a manual and he could only drive auto. So he uh, looked inside the car looking audio. like an idiot before being arrested and sentenced to a further six years in prison, telling deputies that he tried to take the car because he didn't feel like walking to his home about six miles away. Take the goddamn while bus, you may be idiot. sat here thinking that these criminals can't get any dumber, it's yeah. time to introduce 53-year-old Michael Anthony Fuller. God well, it's common it. knowledge that the US banknote doesn't go any higher than $100. Mm -hmm. Fuller had the genius idea to create a counterfeit $1 million note before trying to use it at his local Walmart. He loaded his cart with a vacuum cleaner, a microwave, and various other items totaling $472 before handing the million... What's the shit is he getting? Okay, look that. Let me try to break down what the fuck he is buying. Alright. Uh, we're going to Walmart again. Uh, get a vacuum cleaner. Do you think he'd be right, probably getting a good one? Should give up right now. I've, uh, I should get, should totally give up. I spelled vacuum wrong. Put cal calcum. Put <laughs> calcum. <laughs> vacuum cleaner. Okay, let, let me see what the highest price vacuum, vacuum cleaner is at Walmart. Yeah, this in Walmart. Oh, best match. Price high. Oh, good. I get a Dyson for 537 bucks. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 um. I gotta try to price match his shit? No, thank you. No, no, no. I think I already have a vacuum cleaner. God, these are expensive. Okay, no, I don't. Here, here's one for 298 bucks. No. Um, okay, I don't really shop for vacuums that often, so I don't really know if it's a good deal. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, what, what the hell is up? Why vacuum so expensive? Microwave? Yeah, it'll be expensive. Items totaling $472 before handing the million dollar good note to the good cashier, deal. expecting $999,528 in change. Hey. Needless to say, Walmart wasn't able to facilitate this and instead store staff called police. Mm -hmm. He was later charged with attempting to obtain property by false pretense and uttering a forged instrument. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck is up with these people? God damn it. I'm not even gonna try price match all that shit. C Cause I'm. Walmart's well, already, already robbing us with all the money and everything. I think it's Dyson, I guess. I think it's everywhere. Anywhere we have to go buy money, they're particularly robbing you. But yeah, uh, no, yeah, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, if I. I can't even think of how to use that because it's impossible to use. You have, bare ch you have a bare chance to use a Monopoly money. Potentially. Like, they just don't notice. Like, you have to just get that one guy just off, just get the one guy way off. Because, like, the problem with that is if you do find a person who's just like, cashier's like, not just ready to go home and everything, just wants to get done. Like, you have to that looks, get that, like, just does the quickest last hair. You have to looks real. Puts it in and everything, gives you, gives you back ca cash. I mean, that, yeah, they still got three other things. So they're going to notice, but. Like somehow they just think it's like, oh, it's a case of 100, I'll give them back there. And you're like, no, no, I need like a 999,528 dollars back in change. You're like, why? Because I hand you a $1 million check. Uh, uh, cat, uh, dollar bill. Yeah, $100 million bill. That's, that's the word. Back check is a bill. So you're like, wait, what? And you just pull back out, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, no, don't don't worry. We got we got the change in the back. Don't worry. They just walk off. Go back to the go back to in the back and everything. Get you change. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just call please. Yeah. Uh, hey. Um. I'm I'm not the. Uh. Yeah. I don't really know this for certain. But I don't think there's a one million dollar bill, is there? Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. You should really come over here because there's a guy trying to hand me counterfeit money. All right. Yes. Yes. I'll 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 hold. I'll I'll. I'll, I I know how to stall, okay? You should hang up and go back with a giant ass wad of ones and stuff. Like that that way they just so like uh, make them like boom. Cause yeah, get, yeah, once if he takes runs off of that, just be yeah, but the police on the way and everything. Come back just like okay, okay sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me let me start counting this out, okay? Sweet. Nine thousand nine nine hundred and ninety nine nine hundred nine hundred and ninety nine thousand I went twenty-eight dollars, twenty-eight dollars change, right? Right. Okay, let's let's start this again. One, two, three, 
Or, uh, uh, no, I, uh, I, I lost track. I'm starting over. You just keep going for a while. Yeah, you know, just keep stalling for the entire time. And that, that goes how, how I ha handle shit like this. We get like some, got some, uh, annoying amount of money that should not if will never exist in a dollar bill. And one, just one dollar bill. I just thought that was real. They even blue. like a you know, gold ticket from Waka. Yeah, all these criminals are dumb. I think I only heard about one of them. I like how the first two were only in, only dumb enough to mention in the opening of everything. Yeah, the guy who handed, handed the gun, the guy who dressed as an old lady. Yeah, and the one who tried to rob because he's like, oh no, I, I I should be able to get away with this. It's, oh, it's only legal if it's uh, at nighttime, right? Right? That that's. I mean, yeah, technically you only receive robberies happening at night. You don't receive people... You, things can't happen in broad day, but you hear more about stuff happening at night, because night is hard to see and everything. So, yeah, I... I... Want to get this theory, but no. Because sometimes I feel like day is a bit... Day is slightly more safer than night. Because night is dark, you don't know what's out there, you don't, you don't know who's out there. You can't see anything sometimes, so it's kind of... So you can't get a witness, eyewitness thing sometimes, unless you get a good, really good video. Yeah, a production of video and everything. So it's kind of hard, but they, they let you like, yeah, yep, that's him. I, I can see what it is. Sometimes, but you, also can't, you can't trust witness sometimes, but still. Yeah, just, yeah. I, I don't, I, I, I'm just so upset with these people. Fighters Keeper guy, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of doubt because of that shit. The, the dude, uh, the two, the two people trying to run gun shops. Then the name, I would assume they'd be, if you work at a gun shop, I hope to God you would know what you're doing about guns. I would hope. Because, um, you have idiots like these going to do this. Try to rob you when he just comes in with a, with a, comes in there with like a, with a, um, an actual mark. A sharpie? A bit. I have a big on my desk. Big should be in the bed, not, not my desk. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be just so weird. And they get the people butt dialing number one. My favorite's the one who, who made it to do, do murder. Because I, I already showed you that bit for that, like, yeah. Then the uh, guy who met Jesus and got ticket to heaven. I don't wanna know who bought that from, from him yet. You know, like, who? Can, what the hell were they? Are they have bricks? I think they were like bricks. I don't know, I, I wasn't really catching that part of what the hell they were. Yeah, I don't care what the police said, Diggs, I saw a gold. They're not saw a gold. And if Jesus gave them to me behind the camp, why was Jesus behind KFC? Why are you behind the KFC? Why were any of us behind the KFC? Who goes to KFC? I actually don't like KFC. I tried it like maybe a month or so ago. Don't like it. Not my, not my thing. Bojangles though. Bojangles. I like Bojangles. That's it. Also, why why would Jesus have you sell anything? Anything anything he would have you do should be relatively free, relatively. Unless it's to teach a le I guess teach a lesson, I guess. But yeah, it should be free. And that and why is he going to outer space to see Jesus? Face Jesus in 3D. Coming to you in theaters near you. I can't do that without laughing. Ah. Uh, well, the guy who gave him the phone. The people who got, who did the, uh, he did the Facebook stuff and everything. Boy, hush. Never thought social media could be the thing to save the day, you know? That also that teen, that kid who, Robbed the bank and then boasted about it. Yeah, you got away with six thousand bucks, right? Yeah, you so you sold six k from a bank. Keep quiet. Don't do shit. They might they will potentially might find you if you like if you. I, I'm gonna say that if you steal from a bank six k, do not immediately go like in the next few weeks. Or so don't immediately go and just deposit the exact same amount. Pause deposit a li little bit of time so you don't come obvious okay because then they'll just think like okay it's just normal paycheck and everything you know but if you're going to do me like that maybe some, there are sometimes you, you'll you might get you'll have like ch 
checks and stuff like that, you like, just yeah, yeah, I get deposited. I was holding it for a while. Uh, I got deposited in my bank, just for yes, sir. Like a. Sorry, my uh, personal space being be invaded by either a speck of dust or a very, very tiny bug. Yeah, uh, where was I? I clapped away my thought. Okay, anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah sometimes you get money like that. You be, you like uh, Mr. Krabs, where he keeps all his money in his bank. In his, in his bank and his uh, mattress and everything. So, like, yeah, I kept it right there because I didn't, didn't trust banks. And I also wanted to have something back up for in case the bank money ever ever ran out, you know? So now I can go do that. But so yeah, if you, something something could rob for that exact same amount of money. Don't go just dropping that much. They'll put you if not suspect number one, suspect number two, at least. So uh, yeah. And then if you're oh, also gonna do that, don't you don't go posting about it. What dumbass oh, outside this? What dumbass goes and just put Bring the description to the goddamn video. I just stole a car and robbed a bank. Now I'm rich and I can, I can pay off my college financial aid and tomorrow I'm going for a shopping spree? Fight me. I love Green Day. What the fuck? Like, uh, um... Yeah, uh... I may... I know, don't know much. I don't have student debt. Debt, thank God. So, I don't know... Can you... Maybe she was as you are already g getting over her student debt and everything and financial aid and everything. Doing off all that. And I don't know. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been conch. So yeah, but uh I don't think Sis K is gonna cover it. I think. I could be wrong. Like I said, it's been a while since I was in college and have the financial aid and everything. Like I don't have student debt. Again, thank God. I praise praise my family for allowing me to come out of college debt free and everything. But, yeah, uh, I don't think 6 k going to do it. But then again, I wonder if this video is still a thing. Let me look. Who the hell is this? Jelly, jelly bean. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Uh, jelly bean. Jelly beanie. Oh my god. Oh my God! It's still it's still alive. It's still a live video. Come on, guys. Let's let's see. let us see. Did I click the right thing. I did not. Oh. Let us see. Wow. When was the last comment? Newest. Two minutes ago. W. All right. Let's see what. It, let's go. Let's go. Let 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 us see what this is. Shake bank, shake bank, bro. show me. Get some loud ass music. Hello? I think I said hello. I think I could be wrong. That's 10 years ago. I can't. Quality, not the good. A lot of money can afford a better, better room and everything. I stole a car. Why? Stole a car. Got it. What is that? Is that a penis? Oh. Yeah, break is 10 years ago. Why are we so nitpicky about the quality and everything? I mean, just look, look at my first video. It was terrible. And it was not that long ago. Oh. What song is this? Am I going to get taken down for the song? Oh, well. Okay, okay, okay. Shut up. This is taking forever. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. We're going. We're going. We're going over here. Got an ounce of weed. Couple. You got money. Then she got money and everything. Shiny. Shiny. Yes, it is shiny. Good. Good. The shiny new car is a Pontiac Grand AM. Of course, I took the lights place off and threw them out. Ah, oh, good. 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 No one ever find it now. Especially now that you have your video. Tank no technically if you uh how, how many how many how many people does she have? 
that piece is stuck. Buck. Fuck you, bud. Just blended in with my wall. Yeah, but she has a, a, a 11... 11,000 subscribers? That has 11k. Warming. Minor minority. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's about it. Get yeah, tired of my, my thing on back. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Yeah, what the f Okay. Who the f I told my mom. Oh, okay. Your mom's gonna be real surprised if she finds out what you really did, it, ain't she? Why? Why what? Uh, why to rob me on this and everything? It's not something. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so fine. Talking about. Okay. Okay, we're doing a, uh, not, pa not pantomime, I mean, they're doing a, uh, traits. How did it take your baby away? Oh, oh. Uh, what, okay. Um, no, uh, I guess your purpose is in jail, apparently. Okay, that, that, okay, that, the baby part was a, uh, a plot twist I'm unexpecting, but okay. So she had a baby? What the fuck? Who, who is this? Who are you? Uh, I just look at Who are you? Not you, not je not Jelly Bean, Jelly Beanie. When he got arrested, God damn it! All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fi find her. I probably could, but I'm not gonna put too much effort into it. I already put enough effort in, in looking up the video, but, but yeah, she had a baby. Her parents she was taking for, it was taken away from neglect. I'm not gonna, th I'm not gonna throw anything, but you did just rob a bank, so. Maybe you were neglectful, maybe you weren't. I don't know. I don't know your story. I don't, I kind of don't really care that much. But yeah, Big was stolen. That sucks. I would hate, hate to have my child taken from me for any way. Especially if, if, if I thought I was neglecting anything about, uh, instead of robbing a bank, instead of a car, I would try, what am I uh, talking about? I was talking about on my headphone thing. This is a long ass cable. Like this cable goes all the way here. I, I get shrink on my step with this. If I wanted to, anyway, yeah. If I, if I was in a situation, maybe it's not that, not that easy. Maybe I just don't know, know much things. But I would try to prove that prove. I would try to prove that I'm not the I can be a good parent and everything. But I, I don't I don't know I don't really know how. I don't know. Sometimes you can't prove it. Like those parents that go that go to jail for a child child endangerment child abuse stuff like that. Yeah, no. But I I don't know. Not my thing. I don't want to say anything to get me in trouble. My system already. If I offend anybody, I'm sorry. But oh well. I can disable dark mode. I want to do it. Oh god, the light. Okay, back to dark mode. Back to my darkness. But yeah, um. Yeah, you, you stole. You stole. What? Oh, you seem better. She stole the car. Oh, you, you used to. Uh, you saw the entire thing. You see, I, I left my house, which is here at some, 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 where, where the hell are you? Wherever she is. And then I went, went down this road. I saw a cat. I thought it was cute, but it did not deter me from, from my, uh, my, uh, grand schemes of living large, doing a, what's a good robbery? Uh, this is 2012. What, what movies were out there? Let's see. 2012. 
Rubies. God damn, I can't spell. Okay. Okay, let's see what movies are, are released in between top. Yeah, Hunger, Ga Hunger Games, The Django, never seen. Matchbox, Bike, never seen. Spring Breakers, never seen. Dark Knight Rises, I've seen. Avengers, of course, seen. I'm, try I'm gonna try to find out if I see, uh, something that would promote. Maybe, maybe I just came there. There's a lot of movies in 2012. Good, good year, good year. Avengers, good, good, good movie. I have not actually seen any recent um, Marvel movies. Last one I saw was uh, uh, No Way Home, I think. No, wait, Black Panther. Black Panther was the last one I saw so far. Well, Wakanda forever. But yeah, uh, Man of Black 3 came out in 2012? Man, Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man came in 2012? That felt so long ago. Huh, interesting. She saw Wreck It Ralph. That, that's it. She saw Wreck It Ralph and thought, I may be bad, and that's okay. Whatever the line is and everything. She wanted to be the bad guy, but not the bad guy. She's doing it all to get her, her baby back and everything. So, rubber bank, do, still a car. It's technically still a car. Te technically, she didn't, technically, she didn't have a car to start with. So, technically, my analogy of this, my house, this, I left and I saw it. Maybe she was walking when she saw the. What the hell did I say a moment ago? Whatever. And I'm, I'm not here to make fun. Yes, I am. But, but uh, yeah, uh, kind of for me not to. She kind of gave herself up and everything. So, oh. yeah, it's, just, it's about as good as the guy who but down 911. Uh, no, dumber, because he did it accidentally. He's trying to get away with it. She is doing this on purpose for some reason. Been funny if she posted since then. No, no, wait, no, wait. she has, she has, she has twenty years. About how long? Technically, only robbed six thousand two hundred fifty fifty-six bucks. Not that much. Okay, how, how long does she get go for? Twenty years. I think twenty years. So she got about. 10 more. Eh. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see an update in 10, 10 more years. We shall see. Someone, someone keep up. Someone keep up with her and uh, let me know if she ever gets out. Oh, and she posts back here. I won't know what the hell happens. Anyway. Yeah, that was a fun thing. And she only has like what? One, two, three, four, five. She has six videos. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Yeah, this has been uh, me me watching uh, the stupidest criminals of all time from Sunny V2. This was fun. Got to see what dumb criminals really are. I turned a nine minute video into an app almost an hour long. Good going, me. Good going. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that that'll be all. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I did. It was fun. Maybe if if I ever find another Sunny V2 that I actually won't watch or something like this that I won't watch that I haven't seen before, maybe I'll do it again. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of just making it up as I go now. Anyway, see ya.